And now, ladies and gentlemen, our Apostle Man fighting out of the blue corner. Where the black trunks tremble the bottom. Weighing in at 17 stone, 3 pounds 9 ounces, he is undefeated. Three contests, three wins, all inside the scheduled distance. Two time ABA champion. And that magical moment when he won Olympic gold medal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the undefeated AJ Anthony Joshua! Up there, please welcome Corey Dunn! Dan Wolf puts his stuff at all times. Could be clean when I say break on it straight away. Shake hands, best of luck. It's the heaviest ever, Anthony ever. Joshua. Put on seven pounds since that time we saw him at the York Hall in the middle of November. To, uh, Tony Sims. He's trained there. And let's see what Dorian Darch will do here. A civil engineer by trade who commutes to Bristol every day. Quite realistic and honest. He says, no way I'm outboxing Anthony Joshua. I've just got to get inside, try and wrap him up and see if I can land something. But of course, Joshua's already tanked him with the right hand. Well, he's thrown a couple of right hands already, which is good. He's come with a lot for darts as well, remember. But uh, here, already you can see that jab of Joshua. Joshua, Joshua then knocks him off. That's a career-changing moment. That's what Darts are thinking. You really got hands, Joshua too fast for him there, and landing a right hand of his own, Darts felt that one. You know, I noticed that the last time we went in there. I mean, that really takes good timing. With the right hand there, Joshua. Two rounds yet, and all three of his opponents had something on the line. They all came with ambition, as you like. Taking his time here with Darch. Darch doing a nice job. He's getting a decent right hand of his own in. Good bit of work there by the Welshman. A bit high with that right hand. Well, he's giving it a go, and that's what we're holding heavily already. I think the occasion, the nervous energy is. He's burning up, could probably get to him, but he's giving it a go, he's like... Way champion. He was a hard piece of work. I mean, that's what you want, uh, Nick, in a 17-stone heavyweight, you know, a real solid jab. You want the jab to be a wish in the book. Darch walked onto a right hand and then got shaken up right hand. One big mistake and he was in. Joshua and he could finish it here. Darch looking to try and fight his way out of trouble, but Joshua zeroing in. Darch survives. Sort of embraces Joshua as if to say thank you for letting me off the hook. Well, look at the swelling on his face just from that one assault. Credit to, to Darch for taking those shots, he still wants to be here because those would have finished a few heavyweights at this level. Full credit to him, but the facial damage that's been inflicted as the bell sounded in not a split second too soon. Well, just uh, staying out of it Corners, there. ten seconds. And allowed their uh, dial down. Seconds out, round two. Well, the end of October, he's three in a row in the second round for Anthony Joshua. Of the eye, Darch being told not to hold by Terry O'Connor. Damage under the right eye of Darch. And staggered again, this time by straight on the left. He's just so heavy handed, Josh. I don't know. Oh, wicked right, right hand. Struggling. He's in trouble. And there is an eye, so that's, that's enough, but it is. Because Darch wasn't going to go easy, but he was hurting. And another clinical, brutal performance from Anthony Joshua. Yep, he's just naturally so heavy-handed, he used the jab to good effect uh, tonight. It's difficult to see, I've, I've seen improvements every time he's out, it's difficult to find the improvements tonight, didn't last long enough. A couple enough. of times you could have forgiven him for, for, for bailing out, well he didn't quite, even at the end of the but he saved him. So Mark's father... Terry O'Connor have let that continue, and that is Doran Darch would have been badly hurt, because he was in real distress there. Punch, his arms dropped down by his side and his legs, you know, they, they did the twist a little bit, so that was a good time to stop. We don't wait. When a fight's not competitive, OK, maybe the match was never competitive, but you know what I mean, if it's not in the least competitive, yeah. get him out of there. And it was pretty obvious. Now that was it. You could see him all over the place. 
I mean, it wasn't just that punch. It was what? under heavy pressure, saved by the bell. There was no point whatsoever in allowing this to continue. And that was and a with no complaints from Darch either. It was only going to. It was only going to end badly. It was just a question of when. And Terry O'Connor performing and seeing many mistakes. We're seeing a lot of positive things. The power, as you say. AJ Anthony Joshua! Uh, good respect as ever shown by Joshua to his opponent, which is always nice to see. A little handshake for the referee as well. So, well, he's been out of the ring since the middle of November, Anthony Joshua, and there's a, a souvenir for Dorian Darch. Bet you that one gets framed. But uh, had little shoulder niggles, a little bicep niggle that had kept him out of the ring for a little while, but Joshua back with a bang. Very effective right again as well. So, well, he's been out of the ring since the middle of November, Anthony Joshua, and there's a, a souvenir for Dorian. That one gets framed. But uh, had little shoulder niggles, a little bicep niggle that had kept him out of the ring for a little while, but Joshua back with a bang. Very effective again. Just amplifying what you went back to earlier, Jim. You know, you wonder how much he learned from that as such. But again, you can't, com you cannot complain about the execution, the job that he just did there. He had his man in trouble. He put him away. Simple as that. Four and zero, all by stoppage. Anthony Joshua rolls on. Well, Anthony, congratulations! Your first fight in four months after a couple of little niggles. Very effective again. Just amplifying what you went back to earlier, Jim. You know, you wonder how much he learned from that as such, but. Again, you can't, com you cannot complain about the execution, the job that he just did there. He had his man in trouble. He put him away. Simple as that. Four and zero, all by stoppage. Anthony Joshua rolls on. Well, Anthony, congratulations! Your first fight in four months after a couple of little niggles and injuries. First fight in semi-hostile environment. How do you feel you performed? Oh man, not not too great. Not too great. A few things I was noticing in there when I was getting my uh, when I was getting my jab guy and my one twos guy, but you know it is the first round. Joy is warming into the fight, and um, I was trying to capitalise on, on some of his weaknesses from early. Um, as the round started going on, as round two come along, I started finding my rhythm. But uh, next fight in in March. A few things I was noticing in there when I was getting my uh, when I was getting my jab guy and my one twos guy, but you know it is the first round. Joy is warming into the fight, and. Um, I was trying to capitalise on, on some of his weaknesses from early. Um, as the round started going on, as round two come along, I started finding my rhythm. But uh, next fight in, in March, hopefully we'll see a bit of an improvement once again. You established a jab, but you were made to miss once or twice early. Exactly that. And uh, a few things, I'm not going to say all my weaknesses I made in there, in case any of my future opponents are watching, but there's a few things I'm going to get back to the gym and uh, work on. But that's what it's about, uh, analysing what I've done wrong and getting it right for the next one. Motor Eddie Hearn said just before you sat down that maybe it's the time to bring in better sparring. Yeah, that would be great to be fair. Um, if Matchroom could sort it out, I would be over the moon with that. You've put on more than half a stone since your last appearance on October the 5th. What's the reason for that? No reason at all. Training, like, I've been training just as hard. But I think that um, when I first uh, turned pro, it was summertime, so.